You may be seated. Glory be to God. Encore, c'est vraiment Glory to une bénédiction d'être ici. Donc, uh, donc, uh, it is once again a blessing to be here. Bénédiction. Acclamons le Seigneur pour la provision de la so parole. So, spark is indeed a blessing. Qu'a Let us put our hands together for the provision of the word. Encore, uh, nous remercions that was done. le Seigneur. Pour, uh, la we thank Sanogo, Mama the Lord. Man. Gloire à Dieu, acclamons le Seigneur pour leur vie. For Apostle Sanogo, Mama Lilian, we si thank God for their life. Si c'est le microphone ou bien le retour, mais ça, c'est in and out. I don't know if it's the microphone or the return, but all right. Donc, it's in and out, so sometimes I don't hear myself. Donc. Nous remercions le Seigneur pour so ça. Donc, it. on est tellement béni. Moi, je suis tellement béni par. Uh, so we thank the Lord for that. We are so blessed. Fois, blessed. I'm tout. so blessed. J'ai, uh, By Apostle Sanogo, anytime I listen to him, Donc, uh, I heard a message uh, he preached about love in Boston. De ce <laughs> so, I wrote four books from uh, this message. Donc, uh, C'est vraiment une source de bénédiction. Donc j'ai écouté un autre message sur les douze portes. Quand on It is a source of blessing. Bon, là, I listened to another aussi, message voilà, on the twelve doors when we were in IT. Uh, bon, donc, vraiment, It is twelve books I wrote last year. Donc moi, quand je viens, je reçois. <laughs> so Gloire this is a source of blessing. So when God Gloire comes, I receive. We thank the Lord for that. Glory be to God. And all other speakers, Pastor Ivan, who connected us all to Pastor Marcelo with the source of blessing, let us thank God for their life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all other pastors that are here, ministers of God, we greet you in the name of Jesus. So, the topic is filled with grace. And God can fill you with all grace so that there will be always enough to satisfy all your needs so that you can have in abundance all good works. So yesterday morning I spoke about the why of the, the why of grace. The why of grace. Why does God fill us with grace? And we saw that we are filled with grace for good works. Mais la grâce Therefore, les the good ça. works does not Donc, produce euh, grace, but la, grace euh, produces good works. Or, another way to, sauvés, to euh, see it, par de oeuvres, mais pour we de have been oeuvres. saved, Donc, très Donc, hier not hier by good works, but we've been, hier been hier saved hier for good works. Well, this is very important. Yesterday evening we spoke, yesterday morning we spoke about the, ri- the wife of the grace, and yesterday we spoke about the scandal of grace. The scandal of grace is that the grace of God is, on, the grace of God is not selective. How comes that in the life of, of Naomi that when she was in a position to give grace, she did not do it? And now she needs grace, and she received grace while she did not give grace. The justice wants somebody to receive what you sow. The justice said that you receive what you sow. But here is this woman who saw, who, who, who saw lack of concern, and she reaped compassion. This is grace that does it. This morning, I would like to continue in the book of Ruth, and we're going to talk about the mystery of grace, the mystery of grace. The mystery of grace in the life of Boaz. Hier soir de Naomi et ce matin de Boaz. Donc, we spoke about Boaz, Elimelech, comme j'avais dit hier, we spoke about Naomi and we spoke about Boaz. So Boaz, like I said yesterday, c'est c'est le is the antithesis of Elimelech. Is the Qu'est-ce contrary of Elimelech. Donc, au so let's go straight forward in the Boaz. story of Boaz. Okay. What do we uh, know about encore, him? Le texte ne about nous donne Boaz. Pas beaucoup d'informations. Au sujet du personnage Boaz, the Bible doesn't give us much information about the character Boaz, 
numéro from un, the elements un, that we donc, have, there are many things we can learn about him. So point number one, I'm going to say that, I'm going to talk, say five things about Boaz. Point number one, Boaz was of the generation of Elimelech. Boaz was of the generation of Elimelech. And this is very important to underline. In other words, Boaz is not a figure who came in Israel. First of all, Boaz was not a young man who became great. Uh, during the absence Donc, of Elimelech and Naomi, but 3, he was somebody 10, of the generation of Elimelech. Uh, so if you read Ruth uh, chapter 3 verse 10, the Bible says that, blessed be the Lord, might be blessed from the Lord my daughter, he's talking to Ruth, and he says, this trade testify in your favor than the first one, because you did not seek young men poor and poor rich. If you notice this scripture, you will see that Boaz did not consider himself as a young man. That means Boaz considered himself as an elder person. So Boaz was more of the generation of Elimelech, was more of the generation of Naomi than the generation of Ruth. So Boaz was a man who was aged, and Naomi recognized Boaz when Ruth spoke about him. Naomi was able to identify him and find out that this was Boaz because they were of the same generation. First of all, Boaz was of the generation of Elimelech and Naomi. Boaz was, was a bit older. And the second information, Boaz, Boaz not only Boaz was of the generation of Elimelech, it means as a man of the generation of Elimelech, when famine came, when famine came in Israel, or in Bethlehem, he could have lived as Elimelech decided to leave. Are you okay? So he was an adult, he was of the same generation of Elimelech. The same way Elimelech had decided to leave the country with his family, he himself could have chosen to leave as well. And even more, as he was a single man, he could have easily made this decision to leave. So he could have decided to leave, but he rather decided not to leave. So it is very important to consider. So secondly, he stayed. He stayed in the famine. During the famine, it seems to say, if you read Luke and Ruth, when Ruth spoke about Boaz, immediately, Naomi replied, this man, he is okay, one of soit, our uh, close okay, relatives. Uh, is one of our close ça? relatives. Yeah, ouais, c'est c'est le de nos proches parents. Donc immédiatement, elle a dit c'est le de nos proches parents. He is one of our close relatives. Donc, and immediately, que Naomi, Naomi said that this is one of our close Naomi relatives. So that means qui était Naomi. Boaz, cela veut dire Boaz Naomi recognized who was Boaz. Surgit. Boaz is not a character that just pops out, pops out during the absence of Naomi or during the absence of Elimelech. Boaz was here before. So, as soon as his name was mentioned, Naomi recognized him. She said, I know Boaz. I know Boaz is one of our close relatives. That means this man was of the generation of Elimelech, but he was here before and he decided to stay during the famine. He did not, he did not come from elsewhere during the famine. He was already there before the famine. He was of this generation of Naomi, and he decided to stay during the famine. So first of all, he was of the generation of Elimelech, and secondly, he decided to stay in Israel during the famine. And thirdly, in the middle of this famine, this man became rich. Now, this is a, an important point. You remember, you remember Elimelech. We saw that Elimelech was rich. Naomi said I was in abundance in the beginning. 
So Elimelech was rich, but he who did not want to help his brethren, he went out of Israel to Moab. He went to stay in Moab until the famine was done before he comes back, but he lost everything during his stay in Moab. In Moab, his money and even his life, he lost everything. But Boaz, who decided to stay in Israel during the famine, became rich. But I want you to notice that Boaz became rich. Why did I say that he became rich? When the Bible talks about Boaz, Ruth chapter 2 verse 1 says that he was a powerful man. The word powerful here is important. The word powerful here is the Hebrew word Gibor Kail. Gibor means powerful. But this word describes generally a soldier man. The word Gibor is generally used to describe a soldier man. A soldier man who distinguishes himself on the battlefield. This word, this word is quoted 52 times in the Bible and it refers to a military champion. And this word is used when referring to Nimrod. This word is also used referring to David. This word is also used referring to Gideon. And it is used referring to the Lord himself. So the word Gibor is used to describe a soldier man who distinguished himself from the battlefield. Just like David, just like Gideon, just like Nimrod, and so on. So obviously, Boaz was a soldier man originally. He was a soldier man originally. So as a soldier man, he was not a king. He was not a noble person. A soldier man is generally somebody of an average class. So we have Boaz. Boaz and obviously a soldier man, somebody who came out of the average class, and in the middle of famine, he could have decided to leave, but he didn't leave during the famine. He chose to stay in Israel, and this man, this man of average class, will become rich. Are you with me? The Lord will bless him in the middle of famine. That's why I told you yesterday that your blessing does not depend on your environment, but your blessing depends rather on your relationship with God. Are you okay? And Elimelech went with his money and he became poor. But this man who was of an average class stayed during the famine in Israel and the Lord blessed him. Let the grace of God bless you. Let the grace of the Lord lift you high. Let the grace of the Lord make you a wonder and a miracle. The Bible says, He who gives with liberality becomes richer, and he who saves excessively gets poor. And this is exactly what happened in the life of Boaz and Elimelech. So first of all, he was a man of the generation of Elimelech. Secondly, he remained in Israel during the time of the famine. And thirdly, he became rich in the middle of famine. And fourthly, he became influent in the midst of famine. I told you that there's a difference between riches and greatness. You can be rich without being great. But this man, not only was he rich, prosperous, the Lord made him prosperous in the middle of famine, but this man became also influent. When you read Ruth chapter 2 verse 1, in the T.O.B. version, the Bible says that Naomi had a parent on the side of her husband, a noble man, rich man, on the family of Elimelech, who was called Boaz. The Bible says a notable and rich person from the family of Elimelech. This man, not only did he become rich and prosperous, he also became a noble person. 
He took the responsibility to accompany his community in the middle of famine. He took the responsibility to support his family in the middle of famine, to help his community in the middle of famine, to lead his community in the middle of famine. This was the responsibility of Elimelech, but Elimelech did not do it. So this man, Boaz, took this responsibility and he became a noble man. Are we together? Let the Lord give you influence in your community. Let the Lord give you influence in your family. Let the Lord give you influence in your ministry. If you are with me, say glory. Boaz became so influenced that even in generation after him, people were still talking about the influence of Boaz. The Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 7 verse 21, when the time had come for Solomon to build his temple, which will be one of the wonders of the world, the Bible says about Solomon that he set colon in the gate of the temple he set the right colon and call him james jackin and he set the left side colon and called it boaz because Boaz did not abandon his people, because Boaz did not abandon the people, he did not abandon the community, he did not abandon his people, he did not abandon Bethlehem, he did not abandon his family. Paul, not only this man became a noble person, but he became a color. Nobody will forget about him. Because when Elimelech ran away, Boaz to stay as a colon, as a pillar to support the community, to help and to lead and to accompany and to monitor during the. It, therefore, in the temple of Jerusalem, there will be a colon called Boaz. May God make you a colon and a pillar in your community. May God make you a pillar in your family. May God make you a pillar in your country. May God make you a pillar in your nation. May God make you a pillar in the world. Donc cet homme, il voulait. Est-ce que vous êtes avec moi? Il voulait faire du bien. So man, il voulait wanted, communiquer la grâce. Are we together? Il voulait partager la grâce. This man wanted to do good. Il voulait faire grâce aux autres. He wanted to communicate Et grace. Est devenu une colonne. He wanted to share grace. Il est devenu influent. He wanted to do grace Hier, to others. Je vous avais dit, and this il man became a pillar. He became a, an influent person. Yesterday I told you, there is a difference Boaz between riches rich and greatness. Boaz was not only rich, but he was also great. Richesse. And the greatness is more important than riches. Que la richesse. Greatness has more value than riches. Mais on souvent les riches. We remember reprends, great people. On souvent but les we sometimes forget rich people. Mais on se Let me repeat. We sometimes forget rich on, people. On va faire une, une petite exercice. But we always Je remember great people. Si je dis, Let us do exemple, a little exercise. I'm going to give you some few examples. Dis, vous allez faire signe de la main. Uh, if I say, for instance, si, si le nom de you Mukashumbani. just lift up your hand. How many people here, if I say, I call uh, the name of Mukeshumbani, si how many people know him? Personne. Lift up your hand if you know Mukeshumbani. Okay. Only three people. If si I say Gandhi, dis, how many people know Gandhi? Flynn. So many people. Let me give you another example. If I say si je dis Marilyn Flynn, how many people know Marilyn Flynn? Voilà. No hands. Si je dis if I Jérémy say Amiton. Mère Teresa, how many people know her? Mother Teresa. Si je dis Nelson if Mandela. I say Jeremiah Hamilton, how many people know him? Que, But if I say Nelson Mandela, so many people know him. Qui, qui, qui sont ces 
What is the difference between these people I called? Let me tell you about these people. Mukesh Mbani. I said, when I said Mukesh Mbani, only three people know him. Mukesh Mbani is still alive. He is one of the richest people in the world. He is the one who has the, the most expensive house in the world. Mukesh Mbani. He is a rich man in India, and his house <laughs> worth one billion dollars. I did not say one million. I said one billion dollars. This is what is what his house worth. It's, a, it's one billion dollars, and he has enough space to park more than three hundred cars. Yet I called his name. I called his name. Il est vivant, but only three people know him. And nom. he's still alive. Il a que trois qui he's nom. still alive. Mais dit Gandhi. But I called his name and only three people know him. Mais dit son nom. But when I, La I said Gandhi, Gandhi died Donc, long ago. Mbani but when I riche. called his name, the majority of the hands were up. Mukesh Shumbani is a rich man, but Gandhi is a rich man. On ne se souvient pas des riches, on se souvient des We don't remember rich people, we remember great people. Mais la richesse doit contribuer à la grandeur. La richesse doit faire de It does not mean that riches is bad, but riches has to contribute to greatness. Riches has to do good work. Riches has to do good work. Riches has to do good work. Hallelujah. And my God can fill you with all kind of grace, so that having always enough to provide to your need you may have in even more abundantly for good works j'ai cité le nom de darlene fling personne a reconnu qui elle était i called the name of darlene fling nobody knew who he was darlene fling c'était la femme qui avait but i called mother teresa Ouais. Quand elle est morte, on a trouvé dans sa chambre 16 paires de chaussures. When she died, we find in a room 16,400 pairs of shoes. 16,400 paires de chaussures. Mais elle est morte dans sa piscine 16, en Californie et le shoes. monde ne s'est pas died into her swimming pool in California and the whole world did not notice that she died. She died in her swimming pool in California and the world did not notice her death. But Mother Teresa, she was walking in the streets of India in the poor, in the poor area. When we say Mother Teresa, everybody know her. That anything was rich. Mother Teresa was great. We don't remember rich people, we remember great people. Nel, uh, j'ai dit Jeremiah Hamilton. Personne n'a reconnu le nom. I said, I, I called the name Jeremiah Hamilton and nobody recognized the name. Nelson Mandela a commencé. And I said Nelson Mandela, Jeremiah Hamilton, when Nelson Mandela started uh, working for the rights of, 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 of black people in South Africa in the 70s, Jeremiah Hamilton, in the, year 60, in the 60s, Jeremiah Hamilton, in the 60s, was the richest black man in, the, in those days. So in the 60s, in the U.S., when black people could not sit in with white people, this man in the 60s had accumulated a riches of $250 million in the 60s. So, so in those days, when black people could not sit next to white people, this man had accumulated a riches of $250 million. 
But when I called his name, nobody recognized him. Jeremiah and when I said Nelson Mandela, everybody knows him. Nelson Mandela. Are we together? Jeremiah Hamilton was rich, but Nelson Mandela was great. Do you understand? La vie des so that's the reason why if your riches does not contribute to improving life of others, you are wasting your time. After spending time on her, nobody will remember you. Nobody will remember you because you had a big house. Nobody will remember you because you had a big car. Nobody will remember you because you had a big watch that worth 50 million dollars, 400 million dollars, that people will remember you because you had an impact of God with the grace that are giving you. Hallelujah. I declare that the grace of greatness will follow you in the name of Jesus. The grace of greatness follow you in the name of Jesus. Let the grace of greatness follow you in the name of Jesus. Let the grace of greatness follow you in the name of Jesus. Boaz n'était pas seulement so, riche, hallelujah. mais il était grand. Il est devenu riche hein, au milieu de la famille. Boaz was not il only est devenu grand au milieu de la famille. But he was also great. He became servir. rich first of all in the il, middle il of famine, servir, and he became great in the middle of famine because he wanted to serve. serve. He wanted to serve. He received the riches and the greatness. Elimelech did not want to serve. He lost riches les, and greatness. Les, Are we okay? On sait que la est au even, Donc, even in the des on parle de even with quoi? pagans, service pagans know that riches is bound to service. On parle de so service. in in business we talk about customer service. service. We talk about customer service. We still talk about it. What eh contributes to riches and greatness eh bien, is service. Uh, uh, tu, tu When you have a heart to serve others, la la the Lord, la, la you trigger the law of riches and greatness. Un, the fifth thing, the point number five I would like to underline about Boaz, first of all, it was in the generation of Elimelech, he remained in Israel during famine, he became rich, he became influent. The point number five is Boaz the Boaz biggest Boaz became rich and became influent ever. Point number five is the biggest rich ever. Boaz became Boaz entered il est resté into the Messiah lineage. Boaz remained il est entré in Bethlehem during the famine. And as a matter of spiritual consequence, he entered into the lineage of the Messiah. De David he became de Jesus. Laisse, the expliquer grandfather cela. Dans of David dans Ruth, 2, verset and Jesus. La Bible dit now, let me explain this. Uh, in Genesis, Naomi in the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 1, the Bible says that mari. Donc, je veux, je veux Naomi had a parent um, of a, 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 a husband. Let me explain the word parent. The word parent here is the word parent here is mishpara. The word parent here is is the word mishparak in Hebrew, juif, which means y avait, literally y avait de a clan. De in the famille, Jews concept, there were different mère, degrees of enfants, level of parents. First of all, you have the biological family, the close, the small family, which comprises the father, the mother, and the children. This is the small family. And then you have the the ex expand, the extended the family, clan, which comprises the uncles the and the niece, and you have the clan afterwards, after that. When we talk about the clan in Israel, he who is part of the clan is the cousin or the, or the aunt of the aunt. This is uh, the second level or third level family. family. So Boaz was a parent. Boaz was a, a relative of Elimelech, but 
Ce n'était pas un frère ou un fils. Are we together? Ah, donc il ne faisait pas de la famille brother. nucléaire. He was not a brother, he was not a son. Ce n'était pas même un cousin. So he was not, il ne faisait pas, 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 pas un membre de famille, famille au deuxième degré. C'était un mishpahat. C'était quelqu'un qui faisait partie du plan. He was Donc, not even a, a, a member of the certain level family. De he was de part de of the clan, which is the quoi? third level of religion. So Boaz was the cousin of a cousin of Elimelech. What does that mean? It means that he has no right to kingship. Are we together? Generally, kingship goes through the direct family, from father to son, from father to daughter. If there is no father or daughter, if there is no daughter, then it goes to brothers and sisters, then it can go to cousins. But generally, kingship goes from father to son or father to daughter. And Elimelech was of a kingship blood lineage and the, 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 the kingship was passing from the direct family and Elimelech was part of the third level of relationship. Therefore, he was not a candidate for kingship. He was not eligible for kingship. But yet, he stayed are we He stayed and Parce this man entered into the lineage oh, of the Messiah wow. through grace que la grâce de Dieu because he wanted to serve others. Que la grâce de Dieu oh, wow. Que la grâce de Let Dieu the te grace de of God lift you higher. Que la grâce Let de the Dieu grace of God lift you high. Que la Let the grace of God give you promotion. Let the grace of God increase you. Let the grace of God give you influence. Now, Avec le mystère de I la want grâce. to conclude with this, and this is what I finish. With the mystery of the grace. Now I'm going to tell you about the mystery of grace. Messianique. How did Boaz enter into the lineage of the Messiah? Boaz entered in the lineage of the Messiah voulant, ou, ou, by willing to do grace to Ruth. On dit que Boaz avait Ruth, donc euh, il a vu Ruth, you know, et soudainement, Sometimes when we talk about the story of Ruth, we saw that Boaz saw donc, Ruth, on, on, and he saw Ruth, and suddenly he loved her, she was a beautiful woman. Mais si vous remarquez le texte, avant tout, Le so we read this story Boaz, from the perspective of romance, but when you consider the scripture before Boaz, everything, donc, uh, the reason why Boaz decided donc, to give grace to Ruth was not first of all love or beauty, and suddenly fall in love with her. It was not that. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to say that love was not there, but it was not really love. The, the main motivation. The essential motivation. What motivated Ruth or what motivated Boaz to look Ruth favorably? Let's consider Ruth chapter 2 verse 11. Ruth chapter 2 verse 11. Boaz was a single man, a hardened single man. Who refused to get married? I'm sure that there were beautiful women in Bethlehem. But this man was a hardened single man who refused to get married. There were beautiful women in Israel, but they meant nothing to him because this man did not want to get married. Listen, this man was a rich man. I'm sure that this man had a had the choice. This man had the choice. He had the choice, but he did not verset. want to get married. But something will happen, will happen that will make him change his mind. Listen to what he said in verse 2. Let's look at what will motivate him. Ruth chapter 2 verse 11, Boaz said, They told me everything you did for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband and how you left your father and your mother and the country of your birth to go to a people that you did not know before. So what motivated Boaz to do good or 
to give grace to Ruth. It is the grace Ruth gave to Naomi. Et ça, c'est de la grâce. Oui, a accordé de la grâce à Naomi. Elle n'était pas obligée de suivre Naomi. Elle avait mis son futur, son avenir en péril pour accorder de la grâce à cette femme. Ruth Et elle, quand elle Naomi, est arrivée, elle was voulait not donner to de la Naomi. grâce, mais c'est elle qui Ruth a reçu la grâce. Future, uh, uh, her future at risk Et ça, by c'est le mystère de la lady. grâce. And le mystère de la grâce, c'est que quand tu fais she, grâce, she gave, c'est toi qui reçois la grâce. But she's the one who received the grace. And this is the mystery of grace. The mystery of grace is that when you do grace, you receive grace. And this is a mystery. You don't understand it. Because when you give, it's the other person that receives. But she gave grace and she's the one who received grace. So it is because of what she did for Naomi that she received grace. La racheter Are you following? à cause de ce Now, qu'elle avait fait said, pour Naomi. Not only am I going to help, Est-ce que vous allez aussi going to redeem her because of what she did for Naomi? Naomi. Are we together? A fait grâce Now, à Naomi. Look. Et elle a reçu Naomi. la grâce de la personne. Elle a, euh, Ruth a fait grâce à Naomi, elle a reçu la Ruth grâce de la grâce de Naomi, et elle a reçu la grâce de Boaz. The grace. A voulu faire grâce Ruth à Naomi. Grace to Naomi. Donc il a and dit je vais la racheter. Boaz. Elle Now, est une Boaz, bonne personne, elle est bien, elle est bienveillante. Je vais la racheter. Il n'était pas obligé de le faire. Est-ce so qu'il avait said, le droit I'm de la racheter? Oui. Her. She's Mais a good person. Il avait She's nice. le She's... droit de ne pas exercer son droit de redeem her. He was not about to do it. Did he have a redemption right? No. Yes, yes, he had. Est-ce que vous êtes avec moi? C'est un droit. Mais ce n'était pas un devoir. Il aurait pu dire que je veux pas racheter. Just the same way, the same way somebody before him refused to exercise his right. Just the same way, the same way somebody before him refused to exercise his right. Just the same way, the same way somebody before him refused to exercise his right. It was a right, but it was not a duty. He could have said, "I don't want to redeem Ruth." Like the other man, but he said, he rather said, this is a good person and he gave grace to Naomi. She gave grace to Naomi, so I need to give her grace. So Boaz got married to Ruth to give her grace. But Boaz was not in the lineage of the Messiah. But Ruth when she got married to the Donc, son of Elimelech, she entered in the lineage Ruth of the Messiah. Pour lui faire grâce, mais c'est Ruth qui va faire grâce à Boaz parce qu'il va lui faire entrer dans la lignée de Messiah. So Boaz will get married Ça, to Ruth de la grâce. to give her grace, grâce, but it is c'est Ruth toi that will give grace to Boaz grâce. because yeah, yeah. she will take him into the lineage of the Messiah. Que le Seigneur te donne la grâce This is the mystery of grace. Que le Seigneur When te donne you do grace, grâce, grâce, you receive the other one receiving the grace. Que le Seigneur te donne la grâce Let de faire grâce. Let the Lord give you the grace to do grace. Let the Lord give you the grace to do grace. Let the Lord give you the grace to do grace. Let the Lord give you the grace to do grace. Asseyez-vous, on termine. Asseyez-vous, on termine. Sit down, let's finish. Donc, quand vous lisez la généalogie de Jésus, on ne trouve pas When le you nom read, de Melek. The genealogy of Jesus, you don't find the name of Elimelech. Elimelech was replaced by Boaz because of Ruth. Are we together? And I want to add something because I, I, I forgot Naomi. Before going to Boaz, let me get to Naomi. Ruth gave grace to Naomi. Ruth gave grace to Naomi. And she found grace into the person of Boaz. Boaz gave grace to Ruth. And he found grace by entering in the Messiah lineage. 
Parce que But now, Naomi, Naomi Boaz. Elle pas de mari. wanted to give birth to Ruth. Pu tenter chance, ses chance. Because Parler Naomi de is, was the one who knew Boaz. Elle she had pas no de mari. husband. Elle aurait pu she could have made an attempt to marry Boaz. Elle a dit, ma fille, tu she, Naomi fait had no husband. Naomi had no husband. Me Naomi could have Naomi could have tried to Pour get married to Boaz, but she rather Naomi said, my daughter, you gave me grace. grace, I'm going to forget myself, I'm going to sacrifice myself, so that you get, ma get married. Ruth, 4, Naomi 17. gave grace to Ruth, née. but when la the Bible child was dit, born, les lui Ruth chapter 4, verse 17, un nom, un disant, When the child was born, the Bible says the neighbors gave him a name saying a son was born to not to rule but to rule to now So Naomi gave grace to Ruth. And Ruth received the grace by receiving the son that was born. And that son was the son Naomi of Naomi. Naomi gave the grace. Boaz gave the grace. He gave the grace. When you give the grace, Ruth gave grace, and she's the one who received grace. Naomi gave grace, and she's the one who received grace. Boaz gave grace, and he's the one who received the grace. When you give grace, you are the Le one who received the grace. De la grace. Ah, vive le scandale de la grâce. The mystery Comme je dis hier of soir, grace. Que le Seigneur fasse de nous. So, long live the scandal of grace. Que le Seigneur fasse de nous. Like I usually say, des de may grâce. the Lord make us des femmes de grâce. Que le Seigneur may fasse the Lord de nous des communautés de grâce. Men of grace. Women of grace. Mais la grâce te Let the Lord make us community of grace. Because the grace restores not te only the lack of others, but the grace also comes back pardon. to you. Pardon ceux qui ne Let the Lord pardon. give you the grace pardon to do grace to others. To forgiveness. Forgive those who don't deserve your forgiveness. Forgive those who don't deserve your forgiveness. Help those who don't deserve to be helped. Love those who don't deserve to be loved. Do good without expecting anything in return. Do good without expecting anything. But even if you don't expect anything, it will always come back to you. Sometimes it comes back through another person. Sometimes it comes back through other circumstances. But it always comes back. When you do grace, you are the one who receive the grace. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning for the mystery of grace. You fill us with grace so that we may be your instrument of grace. You fill us with grace so that we may be instruments of grace. Lord, help us to have a heart filled with grace. Let our word be filled with grace. Let our attitudes be filled with grace. Let our way of thinking be filled with grace. Let the way we do the ministry be filled with grace. As ministers of God, let somebody come to us and say, I have fallen into sin, I have backslided. Give us a heart of compassion, Lord. La grâce que tu as Give us a heart of grace, not to condemn them or to criticize them, grâce aux but to show Le them the de grace you manifested towards us. À se dans nos vies. And as we give grace to others, pour ton amour, the mystery of grace, grâce, grâce will begin to be manifested in our lives. 
que le mystère de la grâce We thank you for your love, for your grace. Que le mystère de la grâce t'accompagne. Que le mystère de la grâce t'accompagne. Let the mystery of grace follow you. 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 Challenge à semer in Jesus' name. Vous avez entendu le mystère de la grâce. Now I'm going to encourage you. I want to exhort you. I want to challenge you to sow into this grace. You've heard, have you, you've heard the mystery of grace. When you give, you're the one receiving. When you give, you're the one receiving. And this is manifested not only in family relationship as we sow in the life of Elimelech in Rome. This is manifested financially like we saw in the life of Boaz. It is a universal principle that is manifested in all areas of life. When you give, you are the one receiving. Now, you're going to present an offering of grace to God. Like I said yesterday, you're not going to give uh, what is enough for you. You're going to give what is your abundance. You're going to give an offering that reflects the abundance of grace that has poured in your life. You're going to give an offering of abundance to the Lord where you are in the name of Jesus. You may be seated, but as you are presenting your offering, can they just present the offering? So if you can just have the basket, you're going to sow abundance in the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let's have the basket. You're going to give an offering of grace. You can just uh, put it in the front. Le and as you present your offering, my prayer for you is that the mystery of grace may be triggered in your life. The mystery of grace will be activated in your life. The mystery of grace will be manifested in your life. As he manifested, it was manifested in the love of Ruth, as it was manifested in the love of Naomi, as this mystery was manifested in the love of Boaz. Let the mystery of grace be manifested in your life so you can come forward and present your offering here. Au nom de Jésus. Hallelujah. Sans valeur, mais pour toi, Père. Let us rise up and let us present our offering to the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Let the majesty in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the mystery of grace be activated in your life. Let the mystery of grace be manifested in your life. Let the mystery of grace break your limitations in the name of Jesus. The mystery of grace is manifested in your life in the name of Jesus. Let the mystery of grace be activated in your life in the name of Jesus. Let the mystery of grace be manifested in your life. Let the mystery of grace. Let the mystery of grace be manifested in your life. Let the mystery of grace be manifested in your life. In the name of Jesus, let the mystery of grace be manifested in your life. Let the mystery of grace be activated. Let it be intensified in your life. In the name of Jesus. The mystery of grace. There is a grace to break celibacy. There is a grace to break celibacy. To break barrenness. This morning, in the name of Jesus, as you are presenting your offering, if you are a root waiting for a boy, may the Lord answer your prayer. If you are a boy waiting for a root, let the Lord answer your prayer. If you are in Naomi waiting for a son, let the Lord answer your prayer. There's a grace of finance 
There's a grace of finance this morning. If you expect the Lord to open doors financially, the same way that death was in the middle of famine, there's a rain of, in your financial life. If there is an hardship in your financial life, let this grace find location in the name of Jesus. The mystery of grace. The mystery of grace. The scandal of grace. The mystery of grace. The mystery of grace. The scandal of grace. The mystery of grace, the scandal of grace, the mystery of grace, the scandal of grace, in the name of Jesus. Let this mystery be manifested in your life. Let this scandal be manifested in your life, in the name of Jesus. It's the majesty, the mystery of grace, the scandal of grace, the mystery of grace, the scandal of grace. The mystery of grace, the scandal of grace, the mystery of grace, the scandal of grace, the mystery of grace, of grace, the And it be manifested. Let the mystery of grace be a portion. When you are at home, as you are watching, follow the instruction on the screen. You can present your offering to the Lord. The mystery of grace, the scandal of grace, the scandal of grace. Là où vous êtes à la maison, je vous encourage à suivre les instructions. Praise the Lord. Les instructions affichées. Wherever you are at home, I encourage you to follow the instructions on the screen displayed. You also, you need to be part of this grace. You need to receive this grace. The mystery of grace is that when you give, you are the one receiving. So follow the instructions on the screen where you are at home in order to sow in this grace in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the offerings of your people. We thank you for the offerings of your children in the name of Jesus, Lord, as they've sought to be instruments of grace 
Let the mystery of grace be manifested in their life. Let the mystery of grace be manifested into their family. Lord, I pray that for this group that is here that needs a Boaz, Lord, let this mystery go help us to find a Boaz in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for a Boaz who is expecting a root in the name of Jesus. I pray that this mystery, this mystery of grace, go and find this root wherever she is and bring her to this Boaz in the name of Jesus. I pray for a Boaz who needs his business to be prosperous. The same way you made Boaz prosperous, the same way, Lord, make those who serve you here prosperous, those who want to manifest your grace, Lord, let your grace make the work of their hands prosperous. Lord, I pray for all the Naomi in the name of Jesus who expect a son from you. They are told that this is impossible to have a child. At the age of Naomi, they could not have, they could not have children, but yet you gave her a child to you. you made a miracle. Therefore, we ask in the name of Jesus that you make a miracle for now me that I trust in you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lift men and women of impact to this church for the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I do not have the chance to talk about the books, but we have available books. I'll be very glad to do a book signing for you. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus. has found me as I am. Give acclamations to the Lord for the ministry of the grace that we have received in abundance in of our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, overflow of grace. The overflow of grace. Amen. This is our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you having good time in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. Now we are moving from, from glory to glory, and tonight we shall continue at the stadium of the university. No, we are not going home. Because we are going to have the activity Separtage, where our pastor Mohamed Sanogo will have Pastor Greg. There will be a moment of sharing, question, answer with all the men of God who are here. So if you are a servant, uh, an assistant pastor, so in a while you are going to have this session. Then Pastor Greg will have um, a moment of dedication for his book. So, he's going to sign his books, so all the books of him that are at the table, at the, our stand, there's a book on how to build a nation. All the books of Pastor Greg will be available outside, and there will be a moment of signing for those books. Amen. So please come and share wonderful moments voilà, with the man of God. Amen. Can you give acclamations to the Lord? We have 365 prayers. All those kinds of books are available. The books written by uh, Apostle Ivan Castano, Mohamed Sanogo, Papa Karambiri. And Mama Hortense Karambiri, all their books, they are here at our stands. Amen. 
so honor their grace over your lives by reading the books they have written. May God bless us. So we shall continue. And my last announcement is that that we have to wear our spark clothes. And uh, now um, we call upon Pastor Fernandez for uh, special announcements. And then we shall continue with this partage. Thank you, Mama. Just five minutes. May God bless you abundantly. I believe that many of us here, uh, Pastor Mohamed Sanogo, our pastor, is a source of blessings for nations. I would like to start with the vast donor nation. My friends, the third, the 30th April, this is a special moment, a special event, which is not simply. It is the whole world that is going to celebrate God for the grace upon our pastor. I was expecting a great amen. My beloved, we are talking about the birthday of our pastor who is celebrating his 50th anniversary. And this must be celebrated in a special way. On this day, we want to surprise our pastor. We want to surprise him. We want to organize something that he's going to appreciate. And I believe that the greatest joy can bring unto him is to be there on that day, on a, a gala dinner on that day. So tell a neighbor, have you taken your ticket? Because you need to take your ticket. And you will not leave Spark without having your ticket. My friends, we have to be part of this thing. The third year, the heavens will look and see those who honor their father. For whom Pastor Mohammed is a source of blessing. So please lift up your hand and say, I will be there. In, that, in celebrating God, we are going to dance. So, my beloved, you have to be there. You have to take our tickets. We have tickets from 10,000 to 100,000. Some will be a little bit further. So, please be violent to be there and not be far from the pastor who will be celebrating his anniversary. So, I encourage you to be sacrificed and take a ticket of 100,000. So please, my friends, do not leave this place without having your ticket. They will be here and they will be available at the Stade University. Uh, the university. So get your ticket. You have to be part of this. We have tickets ranging from. Uh, one from 10,000 to 100,000 and those of 30,000 and 50,000. You have to be there. Something has to be done. And I believe that we are going to rejoice the heart of our pastor. We give acclamations to the Lord and may God bless you. Hallelujah. We have come to the end of this session, so we shall please stand up and thank God and bless our Lord. I will remind you that all those who have bought the books written by Pastor Gregory, you can remain here so that you, you, you will be able to sign those books you've bought. Oh, Father, thank you and we bless you. What a privilege, what a privilege, what a privilege that you've given us to be here before you to receive these teachings, to receive this guidance. We are blessed to know you. We are blessed the Lord. Oh, what a grace you've given unto us. We thank you because all these teachings will remain in us. And we believe that this grace are multiplied in us 
and you are making of us instruments of grace. May the glory be unto you. Father, after this session, there will be a plenary session in the evening. We pray that your favor continue to flow and to be released tonight. I pray that you take control of everything. Bless everyone. Bless every moment. As we be gathering at the stadium, may your grace be upon us in the name of Jesus. May everyone say Amen. May God bless us and see you in the evening.